What's up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and today I'll be showing you how you can block websites using the Windows hosts file. So this works out above antiviruses and custom firewall software and even the built-in Microsoft Windows firewall. By adding something to here, you're going to make sure that absolutely nothing can remove it other than you. I think some other programs, if you right click run as admin can do it, but it's unlikely that anything else will even bother looking there. Basically, what we'll be doing is blocking a URL, making sure a program or a user cannot access this internet website at all. Usually you'll do this if you want to block a program from accessing the internet or you just want to block a website entirely. This is usually used for blocking adverts or other websites. So to begin, open up a file explorer, head across to this PC, see Windows, scroll down to System32, then scroll down to Drivers, then ETC, and Hosts. So if you copy this no extension file, it's just called hosts to something like your desktop, you're able to edit it. Note that if you open it in this folder over here, you're most likely not going to be able to save it because the program that you're using to edit it is not running as admin. It's a bit more difficult to do it that way, so I recommend you just copy it out. It's probably the easiest. Right click, open with, and notepad. Then inside of here at the very bottom of the file, you'll see that there's a bunch of sample text with a hash before it. When you add a hash, it'll ignore that line of text. Each new line is a new rule for the Windows firewall. So by entering 0.0.0.0, we've just created an IP address that leads nowhere. So if we enter something like google.com afterwards, next up we'll also add a www.variant so that both google.com and www.google.com don't work. You'll have to do this for every subdomain like www but usually having these two should be the safest. So let's save it with Control S, minimize notepad, copy the host file and paste it back into the etc folder. Hit replace and continue, and then we'll open up a browser of choice and go to google.com, and then you'll see that it cannot access this page. So we've successfully blocked a web page. So let's go ahead and remove this rule, save, drag and drop the file back in, continue, open up the internet browser, you'll see that Google now works again. So anyways, that's about it. I hope you find this video useful. If you're not exactly comfortable with using the Windows firewall, or you just need something a little bit stronger than that, or you just have a list of things already, this is a super simple way of doing it. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.